Just before we get into this video, if you like 5% off no scope glasses, the link is in the description. Also, if you would like a 5% discount like Kinch Gaming, please use Fudge99Gaming at the checkout. If you'd like official Fudge99Gaming merchandise, the link is also in the description. What's up guys, it's Fudge99Gaming and welcome back to another video. Today we do have like a new series starting. It's called All Things Football. It's going to be like focused all on football, maybe match reviews, but it's more controversial things that have happened throughout that week. Today we're going to be focusing on one topic, but other weeks if there's been so so many controversial things going on in football that it'll just be one video, but it'll be like three topics. But today we are talking about one person. If you know, you know, it's the one scumbag of the earth, Julian Lescott. Yes, yeah, so a few months back, he tweeted out of a picture of a Mercedes S63 AMG Coupe, right? So that won't be so bad. But it was the fact that it was after a, their, their biggest loss since 1935, and it's 120 grand. And you tweeted out a picture after you lost a match thinking oh that's going to be alright and then when he got home he saw that the picture had been tweeted out and he said that it was an accident it was in his pocket how how did you go on to twitter press the icon for your pictures press that picture and press tweet with it being in your pocket no you did that on purpose like that enraged me so much because how can a professional footballer lose 6 nil and then tweet out something like that and now yesterday post match interview after another last year now officially relegated fact Aston Villa are now relegated officially and this is what Julian Lescott said post match he said now it's confirmed maybe it's a weight off the shoulders and we can give these fans what they deserve some performances let me let me just re th focus on this it's a weight off the shoulders hang on a minute a weight off the shoulders so you're saying you want to go down Jane Lescott is that what you're saying you are saying that you and the rest of the Aston Villa squad want to go down into the championship that that I'm pretty sure that's what you mean like I don't think I'm like thinking here but I'd say, I'd be interpreted is that you want to go down. So you're saying you're glad you're going down in the championship. No, no, no. You're, you're just shit. Like, <laughs> you're just shit. Like, you hold, the whole team's shot. Right? I apologise to any Aston Villa fans that you've still, last match against Manchester United yesterday, when officially got relegated, I'm pretty sure... There was a lot, there was a lot of Aston Villa fans, because I saw it on Snapchat and Twitter. There was still a load of Aston Villa fans still coming, maybe to not support you, because your performance has been shined this season, but to support, support the club. You know, I know as a Derby County fan, that, you know, over these past few years, it's been a bit of a struggle, it's been annoying. But I'll still support the club. And that's what the Aston Villa fans are doing. They're supporting the club, not the players. They are supporting Aston Villa. Not the manager. Not the players. And definitely not the director of bloody football. Or whoever the fuck he is learner. Like, he needs to get out. He needs to sell Aston Villa. He, like... Honestly, he's made the club so sharp. In the, in the players' performances have not been good on the pitch either. There's no excuse to be... And I'll also put the the win drawn loss tally now. And you look at it and they've I'm pretty sure they've only got like four or five or something like that wins. They've not got double digit wins, I don't think. A lot of them have been losses like four or five straight in a row. It's definitely not good enough. And please let us have discussions in the comments below. I will reply and other people please. That I'm pr like again, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure Aston Villa well, was the only team that hadn't got relegated since the start of the new rules in Premier League Championship League 1, League 2 instead of your old 
divisions. So it is sad to see them go. You know, I, I, I I'm feel really bad for Aston Villa fans, but joining Lesko, you cannot say now with how many games to go with five or six and we can give these fans what they deserve some performances no you should begin performances from day one there's no excuse let scott your performance has been shite the team has been shite there's no excuse there is no excuse for a football club the excuse now that you put in performances now you're relegated that tells me you don't want you don't want to be in premier league he does not deserve to be a footballer if you're saying things like that you cannot be a footballer i'm sorry but if i was the aston villa manager i would have been out right you find a month's wage i don't give a shit you are you don't say that throughout this season and also this is another quote throughout the season we have given reasons for people to jump on us yes you have because your performances have been shite and weak there's no excuse to say throughout the season we have every single game apart from the games that you've won every single game you should have been putting in a performances there's no excuse to start performing now because you're relegated there's no there's no no for and yeah throughout the season we have given re every single game you have lost everyone's jumped on you because your performances have been shite there's no excuse none at all there's no excuse for Aston Villa players to be saying that or any player even if they're non-league there's like there's no excuse whatsoever is a professional footballer to be saying now nah, it's a weight off the shoulders no you are given I guarantee you you are he's 33 he's not like he's 20 years old and he's made a bit of an error like fair enough if person's 20 years old and he started playing for the last year fair enough but you're 33 years old i'm pretty sure you've had media training not to say those things so honestly i am sorry aston villa and then the th the thing is that he says here at the back of our minds is next season to get promoted no it's not because honestly i can see you what portsmouth did black uh blackpool where there was at the height of the premier league in 10 11 12 13 years ago you were getting first to sixth positions and look where they are now league two i can only imagine that's now going to happen to aston villa unless learner gets out the players start to pull their shit together fingers crossed that less cut cost them too much they can sell them on or sell them to australia i don't give a shit and it says i'm here for as long as aston villa want me yeah aston villa look at the fans mate you just said that I'm pretty sure every Aston Villa fan hates you now. I hate you. And I don't like Aston Villa. You know, because they're West Midlands, East Midlands, you know what I mean. But honestly, no, Aston Villa, please sell him. Please. If he's saying that about your club, you sell him. If I was a manager, I would have found him a month's wage. And be like, you're shite. The performance has been shite. Pull your shit together. Yeah basically yeah this is how all things football is going to be it's me going to be on not particularly runs all the time so yeah please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave comments below what you think about Lesca. our ratings fine you know whatever so hope you've all enjoyed the first episode of all things football i've been fresh on our game and i'm seeing a bit peace